Hey there. Somebody asked me recently how to create a V-shaped sheet metal part. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic ideas. Let's begin by creating a new SolidWorks part. For the first example, I'll start with a regular solid. Let's create a shape on the top plane. And I'll bring in the line tool. I'll just create a random shape here and exit the sketch. I'll skip dimensioning. If you've created a more complex part, it needs a universal thickness. Let's make it one millimeter. Press tab to register, okay. Next, I'm going to activate the circular pattern tool. First, I'll select the pattern axis. That'll be this here. Let's set the angle at uh, 60 degrees, let's say. The number of instances, two. And let's click Accept. Now I'm going to the Sheet Metal tab. If you don't see it up here on the Command Manager, you can right-click anywhere and then select it from this list of available tabs. Here's the Convert to Sheet Metal tool. Let's click on that. First, I'm going to select the fixed entity. The bend edge next. We can specify the thickness too and the bend radius. Let's say three millimeters for the bend radius. Tab to register and let's click accept. Let's flatten our part next. All right, let's try this another way. We'll create another part document first. And for this example, I'll work right in the sheet metal environment. Let's right click on the front plane and create a new sketch. I'll drop in some lines, something like this. Exit the sketch. Let's activate the base flange tool. Since we've got an open sketch that's not a closed profile, SolidWorks creates a base flange that's normal to the sketch plane. In the Property Manager, we can specify many different parameters like thickness, bend radius, bend allowance, and so on. I cover all this stuff in great detail in my sheet metal course. Let's just accept my work for now and uh, let's trim our part. We'll create a new sketch on this face. And let's snap to this corner, and snap to this edge, snap to the corner, and snap to this corner. Let's exit our sketch, activate the extruded cut command. Just be sure the cuts go in the right direction, and click OK. Now for the second edge, I'm going to cut a bit differently. I'll unfold my part first. So we'll click on the Unfold tool. First we select the fixed face, and then the bends to unfold, and click OK. And let's create a new sketch on this face. Right-click, New Sketch, and bring in the Line tool. Snap to this corner. Snap here, and to the corner on this side. And snap to this point. Let's exit our sketch. Activate the Extruded Cut command, and we'll just accept the default parameters. And let's fold our part. Select the bend, and click OK. Now you might be wondering why I made the second cut in this way. I'm going to edit Sketch 7 so that it's just a little more obvious. Right-click, Edit Sketch. Now let's say I have this cut across the bend line like this. Let's accept and exit. And here's our result. This is what it looks like when the cut goes across the bend line. Let's create a new part document and try another example.
We're still going to work in the sheet metal environment. Let's right click on the top plane and insert a new sketch. First I'll create a shape. I'll bring in the line tool. Here's my first point, my second point, third point, and let's close the sketch. Now let's activate the base flange tool. As you see, since we have a closed profile, this time SolidWorks creates the base flange in a different way. Let's accept. Now we're going to use the tool called Edge Flange. So first we select the edge, and with the second click you define the flange direction. In the Property Manager we've got a few options here. We can adjust the angle and the length of the flange. We can modify the bend radius as well, and another of other parameters that are beyond the scope of this video, but I do cover this in more detail in my sheet metal course. All right, let's accept our work, and now let's right-click on this face and insert a sketch. Bring in the Line tool. Once again, we'll snap to the corner. Line in this corner. And let's close our sketch. Bring in the Extruded Cut. Let's accept the default parameters. Click OK. And now let's flatten our part. All right, let's create one more example. We'll bring in a new part document. Once again, I'm going to start with a sketch on the top plane. Bring in the line tool. Let's close the sketch. Select the base flange. We'll accept the default values. And now let's create a sketch, which will basically be our bend line. And let's select this point and the midpoint on the other side. And let's accept our work and exit the sketch. Now let's activate the Sketched Bend tool. First, I'm going to select the Flatten Face. And I'll specify the bend position. We can bend the center line. Bend with material inside, outside, and so on. Here we can adjust the angle a bit, and let's click OK. And this concludes our video about how to create a V-shaped sheet metal part. I hope you found this helpful. For more courses, please visit our website at video-tutorials.net.